Sup, 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 my name is Rio for the Eagle Council's deck profile on Red Eyes. I'm just going to go quickly into it. Sorry for the wait. I wanted to make sure it's, you know, done right and just happy with it. Good news, combo guide coming tomorrow. And it's going to be great. I'm actually putting a lot of time into that one video. So this way you guys can actually see it and know everything that's going on in that video. So I'm taking my time with it, but it will be out tomorrow tomorrow from when this gets uploaded. So three red eyes black dragon, one red eyes dark smell dragon, three red eyes black flare dragon. That's gonna start us off. I like the six mainly because card of the red jewel, it basically just allows me to have access to it. I haven't bricked yet, mainly because the way the deck is uh, built to protect the shrine because I'm running six of these guys and because I'm a little bit afraid of someone banishing my shit out. And I honestly like protect the shrine a lot. I mean, it's just so good. Such good dragon support across the board. We're running three mass petition because you can send the Protector of the Shrine, you can send the Carpagon, or you can send the Black Center of Legend to the graveyard and utilize them there. And when I say utilize Black Center of Legend in the graveyard, can't get a bio. Uh, we're going to get to that in a minute, though. Mass petition, great setup. You could send Dinosaur to the graveyard, banish out the Dinosaur that gets you red eyes, and that's just going to give you setup immediately. Uh, plus, that would Dragon Shrine and Silver's Cry. It's hilarious. Two Black Metal Dragon, I think this is pretty much the most underrated Red Eyes card that we've received. I know most people are like, hey, it's kind of shit because it just equips. It's not about the equip. You set it on the field, you let it die. Once it dies, you get a search, you're going to get your big boy. If you're not going to go for the big boy, if you're not going for it, then you grab a Red Eyes Black, uh, black Flare. Is it Black Flare? Yes, it is. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm saying the right card. And then you have set up for card Red Jewel, or set up for Lord Darkness, or set up for One for One. You know, these are all crucial plays. And that Black Metal Dragon, that 600, you know, power boost is nothing Scarf at. That shit steals games. Two Kinky Abayo, I really like this card. Um, Ron Kim, you're the main reason I am running this. I did not have this in the original build. I went back, retested everything just because of this one card. And it, fed it, it just felt so dirty when I got to play it with Blackstone of Legend, which is pretty damn often. So definitely thank you, Rom Kim, for that. If you're watching this video, thank you. So monster count is 22. Spell count is 13. Allure of Darkness, one for one, Raikaki, three Dragon Shrine, three Card of the Red Jewel, two MST, two Silver Scry. Liking this lineup. Three Silver Scry, overkill in this deck. Two, perfect number. Trap lineup, two Mirror Force, very popular meta choice right now, mainly white, one Ring of Destruction, and one Venning's Emptiness with one Return of the Red Eyes. I'm not a big fan of this card, but when it goes off, it's pretty nifty. I was thinking about considering Crush Card, but as of right now, Crush Card is just not clutching it for me as much as pretty much every other trap in the stack. So I'd rather have Return of the Red Eyes over Crush right now. But in the future, that may change. I'm still testing it, like I'm saying. You know, I'm still I'm I'm happy with it right now. It's the one thing that I'm still deciding on. I would side two dark holes though, that's for damn sure. Cause freaking locks for days, man. Alright, so mainly primarily the only thing this deck will ever summon is rank sevens. So I have a few kind of I guess filler spots is a way to phrase that. There's five, uh, there's five exceeds that you pretty much will never use, but they're there because just the off chance you get the two protected shrines on the board. If you run Debris Dragon, you're going to see them a hell of a lot more often. Well, four of them. So let's go straight into this. One Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon, 3,000 attack stat, can steal games, enough said. Three Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, pretty much your spammer. You're going to want to run three. I've actually killed an Exodia player. Defeated an Exodia player. That's a better way of saying that. Um, I let him play 16 cards and he burned to death. It was, it was. Um, how can I put this? It was the most gratifying thing in a long time for me in this game. I'm sorry. It was very dirty. I've won a lot of games off that effect, and having two of them on the board, 1,000 a card. Oof, so nasty. One number 74 Master Blades, very underrated. Rank seven. Two Drago Sacks. One Gaia. Two big eyes, one Castell, one Exiton Knight, one Degasso Emerel, one Gaia Cowboy, and one Levier. I like Levier just for the off chance because I could bring this guy back and then utilize that whole thing again because the Blackstone Legend allows me to put it back. And then if I have Levier, by the off chance this happens with Mirror Force, then I can use, you know, the Carpet Get On again. 
like I said, really not going to happen. These are kind of like fill your own, you know, spots. Uh, if I ran to Breeze Dragon, which I was considering maybe dropping one, but I like the surge power too much in the future. Again, that may change, and then that may change to a crush card. We, you know, just got to wait and see. Right now, I'm loving this deck. Let me know what you guys think down below and how you're running your Red Eyes decks. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Combo Guy will be out tomorrow. That is a guarantee. That is a guarantee because it's being filmed right now. Anyway, I'm ready for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. Keep requesting deck profiles. I will keep pumping them out. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, peace.